I moved abroad for the first time in 2016 and actually lived in Casablanca, Morocco for two whole years. During that time is when I really started to get to know myself. I started to learn more about who I was in this new country, in this new city, and what my role was as an expat living in Morocco. <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to the Jazzy Nation. My name is Jasmine and today I'm gonna to be talking all about what living in Morocco is like from the perspective of an expat. I'm excited to be sharing the stage and collaborating with Sinead Braxton as she describes what life is like in Morocco for volunteers and in particular, Peace Corps volunteers. So you definitely don't wanna miss out on that. So after you watch this video, go check out her. So let's jump right in. I'm kind of going to go through my points more like a day in the life because I want you to see what a typical day was like for me when I lived in Morocco. And that starts with work. So I woke up at 8 a.m. every morning to teach at a little library slash school center that wasn't too far away from my home. And so commuting was nothing for me. We actually did not own a car while we were in Morocco because we took taxis, walked everywhere. It was all very simple. Although I felt like Casablanca was a fast paced place, our life was still a little slower than what it is in the States. So I get to work and I didn't actually teach children. I taught adults English education to help them with their careers and to eventually get promoted within their organization because that was important and I loved that purpose for my job. And I think that it's so important as an expat Going to your adoptive country with a purpose, with a job, or with something that is going to fulfill you. Because honestly, I think we might go into living abroad with this misconception that that is our purpose. But things kind of shift a little bit when you are actually in it and you start to realize, like, I need a little bit more. I need a little bit of something to sustain me. And I think volunteering, which Shanae is going to talk about, is a great way to do so. And working is also a great way to do so as well. I probably had the best job ever because it was a part-time job, part-time-ish. Sometimes I worked a little longer. Sometimes I woke up a little earlier to get to work a little earlier, but that is the life of a teacher. You're never really fixed to a schedule, but I loved it. Then I would get to go home and start YouTube stuff. And it was so much fun. I would vlog, I would go and explore the city as a part of my vlogs and I just had a blast. I had a blast telling you all about my experiences in Morocco and honestly, vlogging was a way for me to cope with culture shock. And then yes, I still dealt with things like depression and some personal things as well that I was able to cope with through YouTube and sharing my experiences with you all. So that was really important and honestly a huge chunk of my day. If I wasn't filming, then I was editing. If I wasn't editing, then I was out and about trying to show you all as much as I could or shopping or cooking or cleaning and just doing things around the house because work never stopped. And living in Casa was so different compared to living in the States because I felt like I was cleaning all the time. So dust would accumulate a lot easier. Uh, it was very polluted because I lived on a really, really busy street. And so dust was everywhere. I cleaned all the time. And that was probably like an hour out of my life every couple of days, but it was okay because I like a clean home. So I take the time to clean my home. So then what would happen is around like four or so, my husband would come home and then we would hang out and get into some fun things like home buddies do. We would watch TV or play video games, but when it was time to go out, we sometimes went to events. So he would get invited to events and obviously like I'm going to be his plus one. So I would get invited to these events as well. There was always food. There was always music, always a good time. And I just loved our lifestyle in Casa because it felt like a good balance of when we wanted to go out, we went out and when we wanted to stay in, we got to stay in and we had friends that were also there as well that we connected with occasionally. Weekdays were mostly chill, kind of more work focused, but then weekends, we had a lot of fun. Usually we would see a movie on the weekends and sometimes on the weekdays too, we would be rebellious and maybe go see a movie Wednesday night or something like that um, because 
Casablanca has an amazing movie theater at the mall. When it was warm, we would go to the beach, we would travel, taking the train to different cities like Marrakesh or Fez, amazing. And I think the activity of getting to our destination was activity and fun enough. I mean, taxis to the train, fun a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of things to just like chuckle to yourself about. There was never a dull moment as we lived in Morocco and explored the cities and different things like that. What I loved about living in Morocco was the fluidity of language. You all know that I learned French and my level is probably more beginner than intermediate, but I was still able to get by. I was still able to do my basic functions. A lot of the other expats or Moroccans that we would hang out with actually knew English and they wanted to use their English more than wanting to hear us, my husband and I speak French. And at times we're like, like, yo, we like took time to learn this French. We want to use it. But a lot of people, you know, automatically come at you with, English. Let me give you some practical advice for beginning your expat journey. I recommend that you look at a job or profession or experience like volunteering, Peace Corps, whatever it is that will set you up with housing, healthcare, and different things like that. Yes, we do work with an organization that helps with housing and healthcare a little bit, but as an expat, you are on your own for quite a bit of things. I think that if you go into expat life with an opportunity, a job, or an experience, that'll help ease your transition into your new lifestyle a little bit better, but also give you peace of mind and a bit of a community to support you as well. Living abroad is different for everybody, so don't just take my experience as the end all be all. Check out Shanae's video as well to see what her life was like as a Peace Corps volunteer. Her life was so different than mine, but there are some similarities that I love to hear about when we chat and when I watch her videos as well that you're gonna find super interesting. So check the link down below for her video and yeah, come back to this one and let me know your thoughts on what life you think you might choose for yourself. Are you gonna decide to become an expat or a volunteer? You can let me know down in the comment section below. I cannot believe we were in Morocco at the exact same time. Like how did we not meet? Oh my goodness, it's like six degrees of separation. Is that the video or movie? I don't know, what is it called?